Okay, um, June 2020, variant 11. Um, we'll go very quickly. The diagram shows four pieces of apparatus that are used to measure the volume of a gas or liquid. Which piece of apparatus always to be filled with the same level? <clears throat> okay, always to be filled with the same level. Okay. So, which one uh, is correct? It's not necessary you fill it here. You can fill till anywhere and you can take uh, any volume. Okay, suppose you want to take 4.6. You can fill to any level to, to take out liquid 4.6 cm cube. Same thing here. Same, uh, you can fill to any level. But for D, you have no choice. You have to fill till here to take 25 cm cube. You can, suppose if it is 25 cm cube uh, volume, suppose. So you cannot take till here, you cannot take till here. You have to take till this level, okay? If it is 10 cm cube or 25 cm cube, whatever it is. Pipette, you have to fill only to one level to take the liquid. So D is the answer. Question number two is about uh, preparation of salt. If you have not revised salt, then uh, please revise it. So, so uh, copper sulfate is first you have to see whether it is soluble or insoluble. It is soluble salt. Okay. By reacting excess copper carbonate, you should know copper carbonate is insoluble. So, which two pieces of apparatus are needed to obtain copper to sulfate? This one after the reaction. So, because you added excess copper carbonate, which is in which is not soluble, undissolved. Okay, you should use. You have to filter it to remove the excess one. So you need filter funnel. Okay. Achha. Then obviously you have to, when you, the solution is obtained, then you have to crystallize it. Okay. Because all the soluble salts are prepared. Soluble salts are prepared by crystallization crystallization and where do you do crystallization in evaporating dish evaporating basin you need this also you don't need gas rain for preparation of salt and you don't need thermometer also there's nothing to do with, with the thermometer with the temperature in the preparation of salt so two and three means c is the answer okay third Question number three is about chromatography. If you so, you should know about the chromatography. One thing uh, about the chromatography that um, one thing about chromatography is that what is RF value? So the RF value is the distance covered by the spot and the, to the distance covered by the solvent front. Suppose this is iron three. So what is the RF value, distance covered by the spot and the distance covered by solvent? This is RF value, X upon Y. So in number one, I just, uh, th this question has two topics, chromatography and test for ions. These two topics are covered in one MCQ. So in number one, there should be X upon Y. So X upon Y means C and D are wrong. Any one of them is correct, any one. So what is the test for iron three when you added uh, NaOH, sodium hydroxide when you add, so what is the color of the precipitate that you learned for ATP preparation, red brown precipitate. For iron three gives red brown precipitate, okay. So, A is the answer. Number four is again test for ions. 
this topic is also a test for ions so read the question aluminum chloride is dissolved in water which rose test for the test could be confirmed the presence of aluminum chloride it means you have you are given the test for aluminum and you are given the test for chloride both so which row suggests the test could be used to confirm the presence of aluminum chloride it means test for aluminum ion and test for chloride ion test for chloride ion is very easy add dilute nitric acid followed by silver nitrate so where it is this one d and uh, okay and uh, where is what is the test for aluminum ion all the cation test is with naoh and ammonia which is why d is the answer for aluminum these two are the test with sodium hydroxide it is soluble in excess white ppt soluble in excess with aqueous ammonia white ppt insoluble in excess so this is for chloride ion okay number 5 purification of an analysis is correct okay so if the compound is pure its boiling point and melting point always remain same a liquid boils over a range of temperature this is wrong if is a if a compound is pure at your level so a liquid that boils over a range of temperature may still be 100% pure okay usually at your level except polymer uh, is possible but other compounds pure it is not possible pure compound because re related with the purification analysis an insoluble substance may be separated wrong crystallization cannot be used we use filtration chromatography may be used to separate colored substance wrong we use colorless like amino acids proteins also we can separate so liquid liquid air can be fractionally distilled be yes because it has liquid air has more than one liquids which have different boiling points so they can be separated so d is the answer now six which changes in pressure and temperature would both result both in a decrease in the volume of fixed mole of gases so this is gas if you increase the pressure volume increases right oh sorry volume decreases so what would be the an answer for number 6 uh, you have to increase the pressure so decrease pressure wrong decrease pressure wrong any one of these answer increase pressure and increase temperature wrong because if you increase the temperature then volume will increase particles gain kinetic energy and they will have more energy they will apply more pressure c is the answer so increase the pressure and decrease the temperature okay seven is about atomic structure isotopes what are isotopes atoms of different atoms wrong atoms of different elements wrong isotopes are the atoms of same element so a and b eliminate the wrong options atoms of same element have this has nothing to do with the electron atoms of the same element which have different number of neutrons acha which ion has most shell if you see the element atomic number 13 is 4 atomic number 7 atomic number 16 so d is the answer because it has 18 electron 2 minus means 18 electron 2 8 8 these all three has uh, this has only 2 electron this has 10 electron it has 10 electron 3 plus means 10 electron so 2 8 this is only 2 this is 2 8 so it has 2 8 8 three shells okay so sulfur has uh, minus 2 is the correct 
uh, which substance conduct electricity both when solid and molten it must be metal or um, alloy mixture of metal so a is the answer mixture of metal or metal alloy is the mixture of metal metal is not the option so a is correct what is correct about the ionic compound ionic compound if you remember metal non metal so ionic compound is calcium chloride group 2 and group 7 group 1 and 2 all the elements form ionic compound in your syllabus this is metal this is non metal quick way is um, if you see the element of group 1 and 2 group 1 and 2 they form ionic bond okay at your level in a level when you go to a level then beryllium also forms co then covalent compound the first members but that's in a level and they won't give you in o level Eleven is very easy. Uh, dot and cross diagram of uh, which is correct. Okay, number one is methane CH four. So I think no need to see others. It is correct because we have seen methane so many times in organic chemistry. It's like this. So one bond, two, three, four covalent bond. One, two, three, four. And carbon does not have any lone pair. So A is the answer. No need to see others. Okay. Well, it's about metallic bonding. 11 also was bonding. It's also about bonding. Okay. Uh, positive ions in metals do not move. Only electrons move. So, what will the answer by the movement of ions? Wrong. Ions do not move. Is a metal, so it usually has high melting point. But let's see the next option. Some metals have low melting point, like group one metal. Decompose? No. Metals do not decompose by electric current. They are they remain same. It is wrong. Metal is malleable. Thirteen. Calculation. Moles calculation. Uh, in this type of question, we have to be very careful that how uh, we have to know the technique. How to save time. And chicken, a chicken egg has a mass of 60 gram. The egg shell is 10% of the total mass. 10% egg shell. What is the 10% of 60? 6 gram. The eggshell is made of calcium carbonate. It means 6 gram is calcium carbonate. What is the mass of calcium in eggshell? So first we have to know the formula mass of the whole compound. 40 plus 12 plus 3 into 16 is 100. So in one mole calcium carbonate 100 gram. How many calcium is there? 4. So you can say 100 gram calcium carbonate has 40 gram calcium, 6 gram calcium carbonate, how many gram? So answer will be 2.4 gram, which is C. Okay. Another shortcut is uh, 6 gram is, here is it is 6 gram. We know the MR. We have to find the formula mass of calcium carbonate, which is 100. So in 100, it is 40. I mean, it is 40%. So what is the 40% of 6? 4, 6 at 24, 2.4. Okay. That was a quick approach. 40, 100. It means 40% calcium in calcium carbonate. So what is the 40%? of 6 it is 2.4 4 6 the 24 so it's up to you which approach you follow okay 
we are not good in quick maths then follow the simple method question 5 14 uh, is about percentage yield you must know about the percentage yield one thing that is a formula percentage yield is equal to practical yield is always numerate numerator and theoretical yield we find from the equation is always greater in, in 100. Again, this is mole. One mole. One mole. One mole. We don't mind this one. We don't need this one. We need only bromoethane, C2H5 and this OH. MR is given. It means 109 gram. And this is 46 gram. 109 gram C2H5Br gives 46 gram ethanol. Okay. So 5 gram, if it is 5 gram, then how much this is this? Okay. So we have to calculate this first. How do we know? Why did we do this? First, we have to find the theoretical yield. This is the practical yield which is always given in the question. Okay, I explain you again. So, in practical, in percentage yield question, because many students have confusion on this issue. And first, you know this formula. Percentage yield is practical yield upon theoretical yield into 100. Okay. Percentage yield, uh, the equation gives you theoretical yield. Practical yield is always given in the question. Given. This is the practical yield of the product. Practical yield means of the product. Theoretical yield we have to find from the equation. How will we find from the equation? Look again. This is one mole, this is one mole, right? We don't need this, we don't need this. One mole, one mole. What is one mole of this one? MR is given. I can do here. 109 gram, 46 gram ethanol. Question is 5 gram of the reactant. How much product can be formed? This is theoretical yield. First we find how much theoretically the product can be formed. So the answer will be like 46 into 5 divided by 109. Okay. Two point one one gram. This is theoretical yield, but practical yield is how much? One point five nine. So what is the percentage molar yield? Theoretical yield mm, is always in denominator. It is give greater. Practical yield is always numerator into 100. Okay. The answer will be around 75%. So D will be the answer. Got it? Achha ji. Now, is again test for ions. So, you see, you have to revise test for ions too much. Uh, I mean, uh, ATP paper also given here. This is zinc, this is copper. This is white PPT in NaOH and this is blue PPT. Insoluble in excess. Revise uh, the test for ions. This is soluble. Zinc is always soluble. Make a mnemonic like this. Remember, ZI... Zenith is always soluble in big gathering in excess. Mixture is filtered. Excess NaOH is added. It means zinc will be dissolved. When you filter, copper will precipitate will be remaining. That is copper 2 hydroxide, which is blue colored complex. So copper is not soluble in excess, if you remember. So what will you get on the paper? not white hydroxide because it is soluble 
not white hydroxide only blue hydroxide which is copper hydroxide it is insoluble in excess if you re revise the test for ions copper if you add NOH it is insoluble blue PPT is insoluble in excess number 16 is about electroplating for electroplating you have to remember a rule that uh, you have to use the uh, elect for electrolyte you have to remember the rule electrolyte should have the ion of metal you are doing copper plating so you must have copper ion so it means a or b is the answer c d wrong object is cathode the object on which you want to electroplate is must be cathode so steel key should be cathode so a is the answer and anode is the metal you are going to apply it's about rate of reaction look again 2 gram calcium carbonate is a big question. Experiment 1, what did you do? It's very frequently asked question that calcium carbonate reacts with hydrochloric acid, carbon dioxide is given out. Experiment 1. Okay, what happens in experiment 1? They used powdered hydrochloric acid. Now, powdered hydrochloric acid powdered means faster now one thing i would like to explain if you have no concept of graph of rate of reaction then which one is steeper the one which is closest to the y-axis is the steepest this is the steepest fastest fastest rate fastest rate then this rate this is the slowest away from the y-axis Closer to the y-axis, fastest. If we call it steeper the curve, faster is the rate of reaction. Understand? Now, read the question. In experiment 1, powdered calcium carbonate and excess of hydrochloric. Lumps and excess. It means lump should be slower. Lumps mean big pieces of calcium carbonate. This should be fastest. Okay. Excess of hydrochloric acid is. So one should be this one. Two should be this one. Why? Because calcium carbonate in lump but insufficient acid. It means reaction is not complete. Which is three. X. Well, it's not. In one and two. You see the product should be same. Okay. Because. Acid is in excess. Reaction completed. So which of the option is the correct? Yes. C. Experiment 2 is the... Okay. Achha ji. Eighteen. Is about redox chapter this question is about redox so in 18 copper plus 2 is oxidized to copper this is decrease in oxidation number increase in oxidation number is equal to oxidation so, copper plus 2 is not gaining electron. Copper plus 2 is reduced, not oxidized. It has gained electron, sorry, but it is gain of electron is reduction. So, copper plus 2 is reduced by losing electron wrong. It is oxidized. Uh, sorry, it is copper plus 2 is reduced. By losing electron or by gaining electron. It is wrong. Zinc is oxidized to zinc plus 2 by losing electron. Yes. Zinc is 0. Zinc is plus 2. So it has lost 2 electron. Why D is wrong? Zinc is reduced is wrong. Zinc to zinc plus 2. 
increase in oxidation number means oxidation okay so c is the answer 19 the code of uh, the oxide of element which re reacts with acid to form salt must be basic oxide this must be basic oxide because ba basic oxide is reacts with acid to form salt so x is metal so metal form basic oxide metal oxide basic mnemonic you remember metal oxide basic mob x conduct electricity x is a non metal wrong because it's a non metal form acidic oxide metal oxide is solid metal oxide metal oxide is ionic metal oxide like na2o ionic okay mcq number 20 in mcq number 20 this type of questions are very frequently asked uh, which compounds contain the greatest mass of nitrogen in 100 g of fertilizer you need only to find mr or formula mass of this compound in kno3 39 plus 14 plus 48 i think it is 101 <coughs> 101 g how much is nitrogen 14 g nitrogen okay now this is the shortest way to do you don't need to calculate it there is no need to you calculate i am teaching you the technique of shortest way to save your time ammonium nitrate number b mr is 80 nitrogen Uh, ammonium is uh, hydrogen plus nitrogen, and there are two nitrogen atoms. So the MR will be twenty-eight. So in eighty gram, it is twenty-eight. In hundred one, it is fourteen. C. If you find the MR of this compound, that will be one thirty-two. How many nitrogen? Two. It means twenty-eight. in d the mr of this compound uh, ammonium phosphate is 124 and how many nitrogen 2 28 okay <clears throat> they are in 100 g This is the only one in which fourteen in B twenty eight twenty eight twenty eight. We can make it twenty eight also. If how we multiply by two, numerator and denominator. So it's like two hundred and twenty eight divided by two hundred and two. Examiner has asked in hundred gram. We don't need to multiply or calculate by multiplying by hundred. Okay, theoretically it will be like this. Like in two hundred two gram, it is twenty eight. So what is the mass in hundred? In eighty, it is twenty eight. What is the mass in hundred? Okay, but you don't need to multi uh, calculate it. Just look at the numerator. If numerator is same in all, so it means the shorter the uh, smaller the denominator, greater is the value. So B is the answer because the Denominator is eighty, smallest. Here denominator is one thirty-two. Here denominator is one twenty-four. Here denominator is two hundred and two. You don't need to calculate. Without calculating, you can say B is the answer. Okay. I tell you one. Well, this is the way. And one more time. Hundred gram of fertilizer. Each of them is fertilizer. What is the mass of nitrogen? So find the MR of its MR is suppose 101 gram KNO3 for one mole. 
how many nitrogen one so you can say 101 gram kno3 has 14 gram nitrogen so 100 gram kno3 uh, has how many is a little longer method but don't calculate even 14 into 100 divided by 101 like that you have to do every one okay this is another method but it takes time okay now mcq number 21 which aqueous reagent liberates ammonia for ammonium nitrate there is a rule you have to remember it this topic is acid base salt any ammonium salt plus alkali if you warm ammonia gas is given out plus water also usually but ammonia will always be and plus salt also for example naoh plus ammonium chloride ammonia plus water plus nacl so ammonium which aqueous reagent liberates ammonia with the ammonium nitrate it must be an alkali here if you apply this rule ammonium salt plus alkali ammonia ammonium salt is there so it must be an alkali which one is alkali potassium hydroxide is an alkali okay number 22 which statement about sulfuric acid is correct i think this is the easiest question it is used in battery acid as a, as a battery acid as a detergent we don't use we, okay we don't use sulfuric acid to neutralize alkaline solid because it is too strong we use calcium carbonate no it is not prepared by this method Twenty-three about the periodic table chapter. So, which element has the highest proton number, and which element has the largest number of valence electrons? Highest proton number which has is calcium twenty. It says seventeen. It has three. Calcium, calcium. It means C and D are wrong. Calcium has highest proton number, and valence electron is chlorine. B is the answer because chlorine is in group seven, so it has seven valence electron in the outermost shell. B is the answer. A lump means uh, big pieces of element X can be cut with a knife. During a reaction with water, explodes. It means group one metal. these are the properties of group 1 metals they can be cut with knife they are float on water and they melt group 1 which one is group 1 metal t calcium periodic table question 25 which statement about the properties of some element is correct okay so read this all noble gases are unreactive due to having eight electron in their outer shell helium has two electron only so a is wrong group 7 element acetone is expected to be black at room temperature yes because chlorine chlorine gas bromine liquid iodine solid and acetone also expected to be solid because the color gets darkened down the group iodine is also black this is also black Why C is wrong? The reactivity of element both in group one and group seven increases. Wrong. Group one increases. Group seven decreases. When aqueous chlorine is added to potassium bromide, there is no change. Wrong. There will be change <clears throat> because the rule is this chlorine can displace because it is above in the brom above than bromine in the group. 
is more reactive than bromine. It can displace bromine from its aqueous solution of salt. Reaction is possible. So this is also wrong. This topic is group seven. So you have you seen that they are giving all the topical question together. So now they have made it easier for you. Okay. Now twenty six is very easy. Alloy means mixture of metals. Alloy. Mixture of metals. This is graphite. This looks same metal. One type of atom. This is ionic compound. So A will be the answer. Mixture of metals. See a different size, different size. So they have alloys have different size of atoms. At least more than one type of atoms. Twenty-six A. Which element can only be extracted from its ore by using electrolysis? Reactive metals: potassium, sodium, calcium, magnesium, aluminum. These metals are extracted by electrolysis. So, what is here? Calcium. So, these metals are extracted by electrolysis of their ore. Okay. Because the bond is very strong and you cannot separate it easily. Okay. Last one is in which reaction an acidic impurity is present? Uh, sorry, impurity present in iron ore is removed. Very simple. I think a straightforward question. This is because this is the acidic impurity, sil silicon dioxide. And the limestone actually unexpectedly you are shown directly this. Usually you are shown like this calcium carbonate when you heat it form calcium oxide and carbon dioxide and then calcium oxide reacts with silicon dioxide to form slag. Your book your says like this but it's not Explain here. So, what will the closest answer D. Okay. Twenty nine. Twenty nine is about um, metal. Metal is. We are studying metal now. Okay. Conditions necessary for rusting. What are the conditions? Oxygen, presence of air, water. These are the two conditions. And the more sacrificial protection means more reactive metal is placed. More reactive metal is attached. This should be more reactive is attached with the less reactive metal like in ship hull here is the oxygen only so it's wrong because the conditions for rusting is oxygen and water oxygen only wrong oxygen water is this one oxygen water is this one but this one is wrong because copper is less reactive than iron d is the answer magnesium is more reactive than iron more reactive metal is attached with the less reactive metal. So more reactive prevents the less reactive, okay, from rusting. This is the answer. 30th. Is the metal again extraction of aluminium? Okay, simple pronounce aluminum. So American Christian British they will really pronounce aluminium. In the electrolysis of molten aluminum, uh, aluminum oxide, you know aluminum. This is the cathode reaction. This is the anode reaction. 
molar ratio uh, to oxygen is formed at anode this is straightforward simplest question because this is at anode so if you have not revised this topic is extraction of metal aluminum and this is metal chapter Thirtieth, thirty-first MCQ is about carbon dioxide and methane. Both contain carbon. Yes, this means C and D are wrong. Both are described as greenhouse gas. Yes, greenhouse gas. They form. They cause global warming. It means B is the answer because here it says. No, it means A is wrong. Both lower the pH of water. No, carbon dioxide is acidic; it lowers. Methane is neutral, neutral gas. So it methane does not lower the pH. MCQ number 32 is about uh, method of purification, distillation, and this filtration. What does desalination means? D means removal. Saline we say salt. D Saline, desalination means removal of salt. Salt does not salt is soluble, so it does is not removed by filtration. It does not mean this is chlorination. This is not desalination. Desalination when you heat it, or uh, when water is removed by distillation, salt is left here. Like this is distillation. This is the school laboratory one that you studied. Okay. Sorry. I'm very clumsy in drawing. So this is distillation. Okay. Now, thirty-four, thirty-three. If you see the thirty-three question number thirty-three, fats and are essential parts of the human uh, component of the human diet. Uh, the question is uh, about fat. You know, fat has ester linkage. If you don't know, then learn. Fat is ester. What is the ester linkage? This one must be in the fat. This is the ester linkage. Yes, it is there. Apart from carbon oxygen bond, there are three carbon oxygen bond. Is it? It does not mean it is unsaturated. All the other carbon carbon bond is single. It means it is saturated ester, not unsaturated. This A and C are hundred percent wrong. They are not carboxylic acid. They are ester because C O O C C O O C C O O C ester. Why it is un? Why it is saturated? Because carbon carbon double bond is not there. Carbon oxygen double bond does not mean it is unsaturated. No. Okay. It is ester and it does not have carbon carbon double bond. It means it is saturated. Okay. Next thirty fourth. 
two double bond is there. It's ob obviously unsaturated. You know the rule before attempting this question. If there is one double bond, so you need one mole bromine. If it is one mole or one molecule, you need one molecule bromine to re uh, react. If it is one mole, you will call one mole. If it is one molecule, you also need one molecule. So here it is one double bond, two double bond. It means uh, one molecule of this compound needs two molecules of bromine. Any one of them is correct, C or D. And when this compound reacts with steam, so you should know when alkene reacts with steam, alcohol is formed. Alcohol. So C for cat is correct, not carboxylic acid. Okay, so when they react with steam, HOH, HOH, okay. Thirty-five. The molecules of two hydrocarbon X and Y contain only four carbon atoms. Okay. Now read the question. Let me. Yes. X is saturated, Y is unsaturated. Which statements are correct? Under suitable condition, Y polymerizes. Y is unsaturated. Y can be unsaturated, can be polymerized. One molecule of Y contain more hydrogen. This is wrong. Why? Wrong because CnH2n is alkene. CnH2n plus 2 is alkane. And alkene has less number of hydrogen. So why is alkene? Because why is unsaturated? So let's see two. Complete combustion of one mole of Y produces more carbon. This is also wrong. Why? If it is C4H8 or C4H10, whenever you burn, in a, they will give same mole of carbon dioxide. Same mole of carbon dioxide. Okay, because it has four carbon, four carbon dioxide. So, 35 is one only. Okay. 36, which involves oxidation. This is polymerization. So this is not oxidation. It does not use oxygen. Three is wrong means this is wrong. D is wrong. Ethanol to ethanoic acid, yes. A is wrong. Now, only two or one and two? Let's see. Ethanol plus oxygen combustion, carbon dioxide and water. Combustion is also a type of oxidation. Okay. So, one and two. C is the answer. Combustion is a type of oxidation. 37. It's about functional group. There is only one functional group that reacts with magnesium metal, NaOH base, ethanol. So B does not react with metal. OH alcohol does not react with every metal. Carboxylic acid reacts with every metal. And alkali. Alcohol does not react with alkali. And ethanol.
ओके जी विच टाइप ऑफ रिएक्शन कुड बी यूज इन पॉलिमराइजेशन ऑफ इथिन सो पॉलिमराइजेशन ऑफ इथिन इट इज एडिशन रिएक्शन ओके एडिशन पॉलिमराइजेशन इन विच पॉली इथिन इज फॉर्म बिकॉज सी टू एच फोर सी टू एच फोर एन एडेड एडिशन रिएक्शन थर्टी नाइन इंसुलिन इज अ प्रोटीन सो वट इज अट इज प्रोटीन प्रोटीन इज अ कंडेंसेशन पॉलीमर प्रोटीन इज अ कॉन्डेंसेशन पॉलीमर टू इज रॉन्ग when hydrolyzed it produces more than one monomers protein is made of amino acid you have to know what are the monomers and there are different types of amino acid amino acids we make protein different types there are total roughly 20 types of amino acids are there so when you put amino acids to protein it is called condensation and protein to amino acid if you break down it is called hydrolysis so when you hydrolyze protein different types it's not necessary all the proteins have 20 amino acid no but they will have more than one amino acid okay when different types of proteins have different numbers of different types of proteins uh, amino acids so all the uh, proteins have at least more than one amino acid so three is wrong because when hydrolyzes it produce the protein produces more than one types of amino acid it contains amide linkage yes protein has amide linkage which we called also called peptide linkage also called peptide linkage in protein peptide linkage we call in protein and if it is nylon and synthetic we call it amide linkage so one and four c is the answer number 40 which statement about polymers is correct nylon and terylene are produced by addition wrong 100% condensation nylon and terylene both contain amide linkage wrong terylene has ester linkage simple sugar are produced by hydrolysis protein wrong because hydrolysis of protein forms amino acid abhi humne par just now we have read, studied so d is the answer starch contain the element carbon hydrogen and oxygen okay so that's all